tell the ministry to have the task force come down here. And I've told you five or six times, Mark, if the ministry, if the minister does not do this, it ain't gonna happen. We're not relying on somebody else to do our work for us. We're prepared to do our own work. We're gonna see where council stands. If council's on board, they'll support it. If not, they won't. It's as simple as I that. I think now they're given the time from the uh, hospital now, it gives us time so we can approach Deb Matthews and the Ministry of Health now. So it gives us that room to, now to move We have to work together. Because the community hospital is working with us. It's all about how you approach it. And, and like Councillor Revet said, it's it's not a municipal, it, should, it couldn't be a municipal function to operate that facility as a long-term care. The dollars wouldn't be there. That's We're, the uh, no, this, you know, I, this isn't the time to debate economics of this because you could have a whole two-week two session on this. It's not about long-term care. We didn't say just long-term care. But about any type of care for seniors, for you, the people that need it in the community. I'm not saying that the moral support's there. The idea that we should do but, something with it, yes, and the opportunity to at least have our say, that's great. Have you we seen have what they've done in Barry, David? I have taken a quick look at it uh, once or twice. I haven't gone in depth with it, but you have the, to. Remember. The city isn't. The city wasn't asked to operate the facility or build the facility. Yeah, that's right. No. So, what they did was, what they did was, the city sat for three years while a nonprofit corporation put the wheels in motion to turn that into a long-term care, multi-use senior facility. And I think that's what this group is asking. It's so, what, what, what is your response to that? Well, I'm not, this isn't the place to respond like this. It's just my support is there. Still, a lot more homework to do between now and our next council meeting. But I think you were saying that your your fear is that you're there, you're being asked to put city dollars into operating this facility, and I don't think not that's all. not what happened no, no, in Barrie, no, 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 and I don't no, no, think that's no, no, what's no. being asked. That's, that's make it very clear. If you're asking for support, we can reaffirm the support we did. If you're asking for 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 manpower support. There's dollars involved there, and we don't have it. But if, if you're really costs for photocopying, for getting things to get all our problems all involved there, that's not for If nothing. you're really and concerned about, have to look if you're really concerned and, about the process, are you willing to get former Mayor Janice Waking down here sure. to explain how they did it in Barry? Well, that's are you willing? Well, it's I an think opportunity it's, to listen. If she, if she's willing to speak, we're always open. Because she was the one that spearheaded the project. She was a mayor, yeah, and she spearheaded the project. Correct me if I'm wrong. She did dragged have, her. She dragged her council care? along. Did they have long-term care for still here all the time before she got this? This was a hospital. This yeah, was the no, Roman no, no, asking, Did they? Do they have long-term? So that means they get two long-term care. They, they 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 had a shortage of long-term care, and, and that was her priority when she became mayor, was to address the long-term care needs of the community, much like. You, feel, you people are on the table are trying to address right now. More than happy, the more happy you have her to make a presentation to council, I'll make that more. Would you, would you be willing to I'm open to that. The more information, the better. But again, there's a lot of homework to do between now and then. And to get into the pure economics of it, mm -hmm. this isn't the right place or time for that. Because it is a long discussion. And there are a lot of intangibles. But again, the senior levels of government aren't there. This isn't going to happen. If the health ministry says, nope, this is where we're going. But unfortunately, our hands are tied. But she, 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 she told me that she thinks that they... Deb Matthews. No, Deb Matthews, not that's it. Janice Lakin okay. has estimated that they restructured, rehabilitated that building, turned into long-term care for nine or $10 million. So we're $32 million now. Well, she, 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 she's got a good presentation, but we're ready to look to her. You know, and I think... Well, how how can you lose on something like that? To listen to the opportunity? No. You don't lose anything. How, how can you lose on a nine, ten million million investment and a $32 million return? I can't answer that now without all the intangibles that are involved with it. You know what $10 million is as far as, as, as tax dollars? You're probably looking at about... Uh, okay? okay. I don't think so. It's about 1% for $500,000. Yeah, but they, they didn't get it from the city. <laughs> and then that's different, right? Yeah, that's that different. That changes this whole con dynamic of this it's conversation. It's different. Okay. All I have to tell you is we support 100%. And anybody in the city I'm knows that. I'll see you later. But so the bottom line is... If you're asking for a commitment of dollars, counsel, first of all, I can't do it. And secondly, I see you going as well. Because yeah, you haven't got it. You've got to put all your ducks in order. But I can tell you one thing. If the ministry decides to do something, and they say yes, the city council, the city will be there. And I'll make the most, put the motion on the floor. Would it be nice for the city to at least give the project moral support? We did yeah. have. We'll give them more support. That's no deal. That's no big deal. Mm -hmm. There's no big deal. It's my impression we already have. We continue to do so by being here. And today. not only once, we've done it three or four times. And we've done all the count. All, every municipality in the three counties have supported it 100%. And you've got your, uh, your NPP. Jim McDonnell has got a, he's got a, on his website, he has a, a petitioner you can sign in.
Now if I flip hats for a second, I know that petition is still in the office and uh, we've had to make several more copies of it because there are several names on it now, which where, is great. Where is the office, just for anyone that's seen this video? 122nd Street West in Times Square, two doors down from the post office. I've said that a few times. <laughs> so again, I, I hope we want to go, but we have to do it. You know, you have to get the players involved. Yeah. And yeah. that's the whole thing. And I, I, but you're willing to look at it with an open mind. Of course. Right. Yeah, we always did. We mm -hmm. always did. Greg, I like ideas, but ideas have yeah. to make sense and have to be able to be accomplished without putting, well, without putting the community in such a hole that we can't dig ourselves out. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. Isn't it strange that the committee, community or via council spent over 28 or 30 million dollars on a hockey rink and here we're fretting over nine million dollars for a long no, term no, care no, facility. No, 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 no. Different Listen, time, different e economics, and it wasn't that much. Either. No, the city and, share and, and we, paid, we shared, paid. Yeah, the city share was about what? Paid million? Just quoted yeah. this facility is cost. Yeah. The bottom line is, is Does that say the arenas were down, the arena's going to fall down somebody's head. The other arena's down. What do you do? You have to change your infrastructure. But you can't change all the infrastructure at once. The infrastructure you control, you can change right away. But the infrastructure you don't control, you have to work with the partners to do that. But I think the more people that are willing to keep an open mind and support it, because Janice Lakin, if you talk to Janice Lakin, she'll say that she had to drag her council to get this done, and it turned out to be a hugely successful project. Monday morning, I'll send an email to, to ask you if, if you could have her come in and talk to us and, 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 and tell us what I, I think it would solve a lot of your, your questions and probably a lot of the apprehension that you might have. Well, it's it's not question. apprehension. I, I mean, I just don't, I'm not going to stand here and, and tell you something that I don't believe in. And I'm not going to tell you something just to make people feel happy no. that I'm going to No. But I, here, I can't do that. But the, just, just, throwing this at you, the, just throwing this at you, but here, here's a chance. No one's asking for dollars. No. Nope. But here's, here's a chance to do something publicly, even if it's spending money, spending money publicly, not in camera, not behind closed doors, not for no, lawyers, no, 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 not for no. settlements, to actually do something good for the people. And people see that you're doing it. I think we've got to stick to the, we've got to stick to the goal we're, we're set out here today for, mm -hmm. is to look at, try and see if we can find this thing, have some long-term care, and other, other health, uh, or health cares that are needed in the community. Yeah. Because part that facility, but that's what the, going back this last year, that's what it was, was yeah. to support, to have the task force come in and take a look at the needs and the feasibility of using the general hospital. Because here's and a these chance. These two things have to happen. Part of the fun, but here's a chance for everyone around council table, the table and administration here to show the community that they care. They do. They've you know, done it. They've, they've, done, they've done it. And they do. I, I can tell you. This point. Yeah, guys, guys, we just had a situation where council voted, I believe it was 8 to 2, not to change the fire system at Glensford Dunn Lodge. And then after some information came to light, you guys reversed. So Jamie, this you got to keep your eye on the ball. You can't be going the ball all over. Our, our concern here, the goal here, mm -hmm. is to do something for a general hospital. I don't think we should be mixing the other stuff in here mm -hmm. because. Hey, I, well, we've reason, done, done that. that. That's fair, Andre. The reason I brought that up is, is we're, we're looking at priorities as a, for a community. I used the Benson Center as an example where the costs for the city were similar. And I'm not trying to go retroactive back. What I'm trying to get is maybe we all as a for council, you guys need to maybe focus more on the really critical health care needs in our community. Well, when the Benson Center was first designed and developed, and the whole concept, at the time, that was a big priority in this community with the aging infrastructure, the Bob Terminator, and the Simon Arena. We are putting... If I'm not mistaken, there's a previous council was seven hundred thousand dollars a year into those two facilities. That's putting good money after bad. So something had to be done to ensure that we have those. Well, that's, amenities. that's fair, but we had the Glen Square Dunn Lodge situation. So, the, you and know, that was right on the tails of that. And, and again, it, if it well, all happened was, at the same time, that was two weeks ago. With the Glen, oh, oh, with the fire with, panel. With the fire panel. Well, and, and you know, there was an opportunity, and I, I will be the first to admit, I was on the other side of the table with Council Rivet on that yeah. one. We need more information. And what, when we got more information... For you personally, what made you change your mind on that? Well, Council Rivette and I had a deep discussion and, and about the needs, and I got more information. And once I got more information, I realized Council Rivette's motion wasn't on the It made sense. And, and, that, and that's what this case. The more information we have, the more... My the better the decision we can make, especially when it comes to this. And again, you have to keep in mind that if the health ministry is not at the table, there's no game. Are you, just, just one last question. You're the only two councillors here today for this press conference. That's not no, a knock on no, other I'm not. No, not a knock on the other councillors. Are you here? What was your purpose of coming here today? Was it to back the project? Or was it? To see two, what the two, two. was. Yeah, I, I didn't know what the project was. I mean, yeah. I got a call that this thing was going to happen. I, yeah. I, I believe about, Mark called me about maybe 11.30 this morning. Yeah. 
So, I mean, we're here. Yeah, you know, I support the, the, the looking at this thing. Mm -hmm. But I, I, didn't know what he, I didn't know what 